Yes, sir. Yes, I started now. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, continue, sir. Hello, my name is Ramesh Kumar Sharma. I have done MTech from Durapur Institute. Now I am currently I am assistant professor of Gunana College of Dhanbad. My topic is application of soft computing techniques over hard computing techniques as a, just a survey reports. Now, first of all, I discuss introductions. Soft computing is a fusion of different constitution elements. The main aim of this fusion to solve real world problems which are not solved by traditional approach that is called hard computing. Actually, in our daily life, maximum time problem having uncertainty and vagueness information. So hard computing failed to solve this problem. Now, what is the solution? Then we have to move is a exact solution through the soft computing. To overcome this situation, we have to solve the soft computing techniques play as a vital role of computer fields. Now, what is soft what is hard computing technique? Hard computing is a conventional method. It requires a precisely started analytical model and often a lot of computational complexity. Various analytical models are useful in many cases, but maximum are invalid in the case of the state environment. So how to solve? It solve the problem by using some mathematical models and collecting the data of the final output. These several features of the hard computing. The so first that is called real time constraint. Second, need of accuracy and precision in calculation and outcomes. Third, useful in critical system. These are the overall operation of hard computing. First of all, we have to decision the problem and define the problem. How to identify the options? Develop criteria of rating options. Evaluate options against criteria. Select the top rated options. Now we have to move soft computing techniques. Soft computing is a fusion of some components. It makes possible to solve real world problems which are not model or too complex for mathematical modeling. Its ambition is to exploit the tolerance for the sum hazard elements given below. First, approximation, uncertainty, imprecision, partial truth. Constitution of elements of soft computing. What is the constitution of the elements of soft computing? The basic soft computing is, belongs to fuzzy logic, that is called FL. Second is genetic algorithm. And third is artificial neural network. And all are inherit this component that is called FLGA, FLANN, and NNGA. This is a basic component of soft computing. Here is the FL, G, and ANN. Inherit the one diagram is related to this. That is called inherit all soft computing techniques. These soft techniques are some features are there. First, we have two recognitions. Then diagnosis, planning, then robot control, and some predictions we have to decide from the artificial intelligence. What is fuzzy logic? Fuzzy logic is a soft computing which became mathematical discipline to express human reasoning and rigorous mathematical notations. There are several notations are there. It is used multi-valued logic that allow any intermediate values to different between conventional evaluation like true-false, yes-no, high-low, some weeks and short and long. Now, neural network. Neural network is a collection of simple processing unit which communicate by sending signals to each other of a large number of weighted connection network based on a biological neurons. Genetic is also a fitness. You have to find out your fitness of your uh, concept logic. Genetic algorithm is a heuristic search based optimization techniques. You have to use in a process natural evolutions. It simulates evolution of species of some natural selection. Selection the best element to discard the rest of the part. Means genetic algorithm is a uh, based uh, fitness. You have to find out. You have to use a genetic algorithm. Fourth is machine learning. Machine learning indicate to the changes in system that perform tasks associated with artificial intelligence technique. The changes might be either in existing system or newly designed system. Here are some phase of machine learning. How to solve this problem? First, we have to define a problem as a statement. Then some developed mathematical model and some related to data also. In the duration of the developed mathematical model, we have to use some uh, solve the problem as a specific mathematical approach and then solution and define the collection data of the given the model. Is model is valid? Then you have to implement. There is a relation between hard computing and soft computing. 
there is a sub, first part is sub computing another is hard computing now we have to use both of our using that is called hard hybrid computing some basic difference between uh, soft computing and hard computing hard computing is a real time constant some uh, soft computing is artificial constant there is some need of accuracy need of robustness it requires program it requires written over the programs on it follows two logics value it follows multi valued logics it requires exact input it requires inexact input data input data it is strictly sequential but in soft computing it is a parallel and computation it produces precise answer it produces approximate answer there is a main difference it is deterministic and soft computing is it is non deterministic here are here are summary of the soft computer the different area you have to use in uh, these techniques artificial aircraft cloud computing cooling heating system fault diagnosis system there are major issue you have to use in a uh, applications area are some components are there these are my reference you can also use in robot fuzzy logics genetic algorithms on algorithm optimizations space craft also now this is my conclusion the effective application of soft computer over hard computing suggests that it has important role in engineering and science it represent a significant riding in modern area it gives greater impact in present as well as future its integrated component is fight to deal with uncertainty and vagueness information it can be extended with computing not only from human thinking aspect but also from artificial intelligence technique future scope is included to select any real world and solve with the help of soft computing technique you have to decide your real life uh, problem you have to use in also yeah, in a security in network security also the implementation is by the help of simulator you have to use as a one simulator is there and we used to compare an analytical result with the simulation result these are my reference i have to use in this presentation another reference and my presentation so stop thank you sir yeah thank you sir uh uh questions regarding for this presentation yes sir just a second uh, dr shelja have some query yeah madam please okay uh, professor ramesh sharma uh, yeah. may i ask one question how we create knowledge base when we apply the soft computing because you do not discuss about this so can you give some idea about knowledge base yeah. are you able to hear me yes 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 uh, good morning everyone i am pushpa tiwari professor pushpa tiwari same from guru nanak college i just want to can you listen me ma'am yes yes okay Uh, i just wanted to answer your que question that uh, yes the knowledge based representation has not been covered in this but the knowledge based representation technique is used through artificial anl system uh, 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 the presentation has been shown in some slide if you can remember that the all the techniques nnfl which in combination is used and the computer which we get is inherent computer inherent computing techniques the knowledge based system helps the artificial anl in anl system it is helped by the making the computer a learning computer it uh, keeps on learning with different aspects and different experiences and all those experiences are kept in knowledge based database and which is further used in future as and when required and in the similar situations when certain things are again manipulated and encountered by the computer for taking decisions this is how knowledge representation is also used in the system i think i'm clear with my answer ma'am okay you are clear but uh, as far as computer is concerned that is okay but for us we have to collect so many data from different yeah. applications and then we can create knowledge base okay ma'am yes that is knowledge based that is kdms ma'am yes we the, we keep on learning we keep on learning on the basis of the experiences keep those all solutions in our database and use those solutions in future when certain and similar situations are encountered 
Okay. You can also implement is a MATLAB. MATLAB is a uh, mathematical model. You have to one uh, model is there that is called neural network software is there. You have to collect the knowledge base data and uh, draw the learning methodology and calculate the uh, applications. Okay, not only neural network, but in fuzzy systems, we can also apply. Yes, yes, fuzzy system is there. No. Yes, 